many matches do you see? Six, nine, ten, eleven. Good. And I'm gonna take one out. So, how many are there? Ten. Ten. Good. Watch this. I call this trick the Walking Dead. Hey, sit down. Oh, it looks like it's walking. Oh, take the ashes. Rub them back on the match. Oh, look. And if it happens, look. What? How many do you see now? There is one first. Go ahead and take this one. Try to pull it out. See if it's on there. Is it on there? It is on there, right? It's right back to normal. There it is. <laughs> Walking back. Wow. Alright, this is another easy trick to do. I learned this one also 20 years ago. All you need is just a book of matches and just a little bit of a setup. So, as you can see right here, I already have a match burnt. So what I do is I take one match take it out, light it, I pull this one down, light that one up, blow it out, and then just toss the other one away. So before you start the trick, you come out, now the spectators are facing me, I open up the matchbox, take this burnt match and pull down, and now I'm going to hide it between these fingers right there. You don't want to hold it like this. You don't want to hold it like that. So you can obviously see that it's there. So you just bring that down right about there. Open this up. And typically, if you have a full set of matches, you don't need to do this next part where, where you count them. Now, if you're down to, like, say, this many matches, here's what I do. I tell the spectators, let's count how many matches I have here. We have one, two, and they can count along too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight matches. And now that leaves seven. There's four, five, six, seven. So now we have seven matches on the book. And you're just going to hold on to this part. Now you got to get that match back up here. So how do you do it? Here's what you're going to do. You're going to close the book towards you and you're going to just fold the book onto the match. Don't do this. You're going to fold the book onto the match because it's, it leaves you with a perfect opportunity to strike the book. So you're here. You just pull it out, come under, and close it this way. And now you see where this burnt match is. It's laying on that finger. And it's just going to go right back there. And there. And you just re-grab that. Come back. Fold the rest in. And there you go. So here it leaves you with this opportunity with the strike end facing up. So just go ahead and light up the match. Now, I can't light it in here because there's a fire sprinkler in here, so I'm not going to light up the match. So when you light it up, just let it burn all the way. Now, you don't want to let it burn all the way to your fingertips, just, you know, just a little bit. You don't want to burn your fingers. So you, what I like to do is I just take the ash and I, as I blow it out, I just rub the ash onto the book. Or you can do any sort of gesture, any movement. But I like to say we took that burnt match, which now is ash. And we're going to bring it right back to the book. 
So when you open it up, now they see that there is a burnt match right there. And you can recount them, which there were eight and then seven. And if you recount them, you got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I like to call this the walking dead trick. <clears throat> so you can talk about something like, you know, when when a match is burnt, it's died, and the ashes are now gonna come back to the book. Well, you can do a little thing here and there. Um, but overall, that's the movements. Strike, let it burn, toss it back on, and it's there. Now, in one of my videos where I was performing, I did exactly the same thing. But if you notice, um, I think it's video classic magic two or magic classic volume two. I took the match and I put it in my mouth and I had this one like this. So when I did that move to close it, all I did was burn it, blow it out. I put the match in my mouth and I show them that the match is in my mouth. Now all I did was move the match towards under my lips or in between my lips and teeth. You can have, I, I don't like to have it under my tongue or I can have it to the side of my mouth. And then when I come up, I open the book and I put this part in my mouth and I pretend as if I'm somehow sticking the match that was in my mouth on to the book. Now let's say this was my mouth here, you know, I bite it and I show them and I just kind of pull it out and show that it's on there. I mean, you don't want them to pull it, but they can, you can hand it for examination. They can see it, you know, and they'll see that it is on there. That's one way to do it. And I think that's a pretty cool trick. It's very simple to do. And I don't know, there's probably other versions as well, but those are the two versions that I usually used to perform back in the day. So, well, I hope you had fun with this tutorial. As I mentioned, it's very easy to do. And you can find matchbooks anywhere, bars, you know, restaurants, you know, local convenience stores or Walmart. So, have fun with that trick.